right, so you can see we up. I'm dressed, bed made up, everything cleaned up. And we getting ready to watch this clock come back. There we go. So I'm not sure if y'all remember the goals and the plan for this load right here. So y'all know that this load is delivering in Maryland, but it's so much time on this load, I can stop by home and take a 34 hour reset. Now I do not need a 34 hour reset, but why not waste that time at home versus just being stuck at a truck stop sitting around? Cause I can't deliver this load any earlier. So since this route goes straight through home, we are gonna park it up at home take a little break and then hit the road. Now me delivering this load will be towards the middle of this video, something like that. I'm not sure how long this video is gonna be. So hopefully y'all enjoy it. So this part right here, I had to stop and Still in North Carolina and I put some fuel in the trailer. Since I'm gonna be part, I'm gonna go ahead and fuel that trailer up so I won't have no worries on it running out of fuel while I'm at home. And uh, I'm getting ready to practice me a little back. You know, I gotta practice me a little back in every day. Then we gonna hit the road. Dedicated 
for me. I got permission from the manager that I'm secured the part where I'm parking at. I'm literally like two miles away from home. Um, I'm currently in Old Navy. Y'all can see they got 50% off sale. Some stuff like 75% off. But I'm just, you know, looking. I need me some more like bootcut jeans and some button up shirts for a good price. So far, I ain't seen no deal better than Walmart yet. But I do have like two denim button up shirts. To y'all, they probably gonna look the same, but to me, they different, but still kind of the same. I just love denim. How much is this? $39.99, 50% off, basically $20. That's not a deal. Ooh, cut. This is my style right here. So, just left out of Old Navy and, uh, <sighs> In the little bag but the stuff was on sale so it's pretty deal but look at my car y'all i ain't seen piling at all while i've been out on the road as soon as i get home my car full of piling well i thought this was gonna be my ticket to my early retirement from prime but at least i want my money back and some more oh you can see my hands of course i got to get some gas y'all let me tell you something 93 is $4.01 a gallon here. But hold on. So the last time I had got gas in my car, I don't know, I just, I just was kind of out of it. And I started pumping the gas. Then something said, did you put 93 or 87? I happened to look like at the price and the price is like I was getting a whole bunch of gas for a small price and I look the regular was selected oh my goodness y'all I put a regular gas in my car I was so worried I I drove all that fuel out I got some uh, fuel cleaner and I had filled it back up with 93 and it was pretty smooth I made sure I stayed in eco mode and I didn't do, you know, no extra stuff. Like revving the engine, driving real aggressive. I'm in Target. So y'all know where I'm about to go. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Uh, can I get a BT Common Ribbon Crunch Wrap? Can I get an almond milk? Four shots of espresso? Five points of brown chicken syrup. Four eggs of the dark caramel sauce. Four toffee nut. Line the cup with caramel. Extra ice and extra cream pasta. Thank you. Looks like they made it right. What I do is walk around Target, drink my drink, and window shop. Nah, sometimes Target be having them deals, y'all. Hey, what is up, Slime Pat Pat Nation? As y'all can see, it is a rainy day. I'm still at home, but 
I had checked the weather. I already knew that it was going to be raining. So I had got here to my truck and then like my whole pre-trip on the outside before it started raining. But I'm here on the inside and I'm decluttering my truck. My truck was never really cluttered, but as y'all can see, I got this back. I did have my fridge up there and I think I had a suitcase up there. And I don't know why, but it was bothering me so much because like even with this little bit of space lifted back up it feels so much spacier in here y'all so what i may do is i'm gonna have to head to the terminal probably in about maybe within the next month and i may get the freeze that go down there i may i'm not sure yet but i really miss this right here i love sunlight i love sunlight that freeze was blocking this out and it made my truck look dark now we back looking brighter more spacious i still got this right here in case i need to record something from this angle but overall we good i tried taking this mattress out i started struggling so i just i just left it there i was gonna put the fridge back there where the mattress is and just try to figure out some stuff from there but i started getting irritated so i just took the fridge all the way out um i got home time scheduled for next week so i'm just really gonna be on this truck for maybe a few more days and i can't make it without that fridge before the fridge i had a cooler and that cooler was enough for me to have like a week worth of supply in there but um i had picked me up a safety vest and look y'all roses 7.99 y'all know them my prices if y'all can see and i made this shirt yesterday i was kind of bored this is a, a Dickies work shirt. Let me open it all the way. Yeah, I usually have my patch a little bit further down here, but since that button in the pocket right here, I couldn't put it right there. And this right here, I was going to put it at the back. Sometimes I do this certain design at the back up under this. But after I tuck my shirt in, most of this is going to be gone. So really, all you're going to see is from here on up so y'all tell me how y'all like about it i'm trying to think of some more little designs but i've been having this logo for like like maybe a year and a half to two years yeah this is the shirt that i had got from dang old navy i just you know put this on right here just because this is like my little work uniform this is how i like to look while i'm working and these is the jeans that I got from Old Navy. And I got like a t-shirt. So yeah, I took out some old clothes. And now I'm putting in some new stuff. And uh, finish or whatever I need to do on this truck. And I'm going to head back home. And the next time I turn on this camera, y'all, it will be nighttime. Because we're going to be on that nighttime drive. But right now, finna go to YouTube, see who video I'm going to play. And support their channel. But make sure y'all like this video. Leave a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and I will see y'all tonight. As y'all can see, it is nighttime. I'm getting ready to leave. But it's raining. It's like raining off and on. I got my trip in already. We're going to stop at the, the Petro or the Hour 80, whatever. One of the world's largest truck stops here in North Carolina. Well, I think it is the only large one in North Carolina. And I'm going to get some fuel. I'm not sure if I'm going to fill up or I'm going to just get a few gallons. I don't know. I haven't. Well, I only used about $60 on this fuel surcharge so far. I got $333 to use. Um, I got. This is my fuel gauge right here. I got enough to make it there or just barely make it there i got about like 350 miles to go so i may just throw about a few gallons in i don't know fill up because i see fuel going up that way is like three dollars and three cents a gallon but at this petro it's 289 so we're gonna see what i figure out i'll catch y'all over there
check this out y'all whenever this truck is not in like a a truck atmosphere like a truck stop or a shipper receiver it just looks so much huger than what it looks like in a truck area all right so i just made it here to the truck stop where i'm gonna get fuel at and fuel here i'm not sure if y'all can see it or not but it is 289 and look at the pilot right there 297 almost 10 cent more and what a other truck stop gotta be one more i thought it was right here a flying j 297 i think what i'm gonna do is Hmm. Yeah, let me see. Okay. We're just gonna say eight point five two ninety cents. So I think we may just get thirty five gallons of fuel. And we only got two hundred and 92 miles left to go and this is where I'm at That right there can take me like 200 and something So I'm gonna just add Yeah, just a few gallons Y'all it's a little bit chilly here
Okay, so y'all, we got a door quicker than I checked in. It's like whenever I park in the staging area, they call me in probably like 15 minutes. And just like that, we are getting up out of here. That was a total of about three hours. But how about when I checked in, y'all, he was like, the security guard was like, why you late? I'm like, I'm early. He said your appointment time was for 12. Now, prime, and my prime appointment time, it said 5.30 a.m. And with my live loaded call, it was 5.30 a.m. Had I known it was earlier, I would have been here earlier. But we got up out of there quick. Now, try to find somewhere to park up until I can get a load. We is in Maryland, and I know it's like a TA about five miles down the road, and that's paid parking. Most of all the parking around here is paid parking, so yeah, we're gonna figure this out. But Are we getting ready to do uh oh is that a is that a pre-plan is that attention a, a new important message has arrived hold on hold on that's probably late messages coming in yeah attention a new important message has arrived attention a new important message nah, has arrived. i think that's a low right there it's attention, coming in too quick a new important message has arrived Attention. Okay. A new important message has arrived. Report and live. Attention. A new important message has arrived. A new message has arrived. Attention. <clears throat> a new important message has arrived. So y'all this dispatcher Attention. said. A new important message okay, has arrived. Okay, that's enough. That's enough, lady. He said, Good AM. Got some easy money lined up today for you. Thank you. Let me see. Easy money. I bet it's, I bet it's easy around here in Maryland. <laughs> that is not easy, especially with this bridge being down. But we're going to talk about that on the next video, y'all, because I got to finish this free trip and trip plan for the next trip. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all on the next video.